here. I don't know. Alright. The Vikings are unpredictable with their onslaughts. Well, I don't have any idea where I'm going. I hope you know that. Wait. That looks like a trap. Probably shouldn't go that way. What the? Oh, crap. Welcome to the pit. The Vikings are going to make us fight here for their amusement. Yes. Ah. I don't know who you are, but looks like we're going to have to fight for our life. It's either us or them. I prefer the latter. <clears throat> yes. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Squirt. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Push a little more. Yeah. First view, look at them cheer. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Get ready. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Right, it's gonna be like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, get up! Oh. Don't die on me now! Because it looks like there are more. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. At least they're giving us a fair fight! Still, I can't believe the Vikings are making us fight other knights. You samurai aren't bad warriors. Anyway, I see the same for you. Hopefully, this is the last one. Here. 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 Well, we've come this far. Do not falter now. This is horrible. Here. I know. Just die. <sighs> yeah. I think we did it. I hope so. Thanks for the feast and all. But we got to get going. See you around. I guess. We'll never understand the Viking culture. One moment they're treating you like war prisoners, making you fight to the death against other prisoners, then the next they're treating you like heroes. And they're serving you feasts. And we even have their own blessings. Yeah, what, what do these do? 
I'm not sure. Apparently, they were supposed to represent three different things. They were supposed to guide you to wherever you needed to go. They were supposed to protect you from harm. They are supposed to give you the power to smite all on your way. All in all, all the traits a warrior should have. Except maybe the home-finding part. Nor I suppose he should be able to find his path, wherever it leads him, and never go astray. Or at least, that's what the Code of Chivalry makes me believe. Yeah. So... Do you know where you're going? Yeah, they said the docks were right here. I, think I mean, I'm gonna after head the off. docks. Out of the immediate area. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna go visit my hometown. Your hometown? Yeah. I'm gonna pay... Res responsible consequences. Probably turn myself in. Turn yourself in? What did you do? Well... You know what? Never mind. All right. Well, what is this? That's really. It's a shrine. It's one of their gods. It doesn't look like a blue one. I think we have to find a blue one. Huh? Why do we need a blue shrine? I mean, look at the fire color. I mean, yeah, it's orange. So. So, we can't insert a blue color into a red dog, from what I'm saying. And what makes you think a blue shrine is just going to be lying around here? Well, we gotta explore. In the meantime... Oh, do yourself a favor. Try to get out of this place. I don't think I should ask them for directions. I think Warden told me that. One for a shrine for guidance. Ah, oh, well, this is time to pay respect. Standing there. Hey, Warden. Did you have anything to do with that just now? What? I was just standing here thinking about how I was going to leave and where I was going to go. go. And then all of a sudden, I got like this massive throbbing in my head for a split second. And now I feel, I don't know, like I could find a falcon on a cloudy day. Yeah, I think the shrine helped. What Maybe shrine? Maybe, follow me. For a guy who wants to turn himself in, you have a lot of dedication to what you do. Tone it down a bit. This ah. armor slows me down quite a lot. Listen. This was... This right. Well, I'll be. It really is a blue fire shrine. Wait. Wait here. Hmm? Wait here. I think I saw something like that in the feast hall. Hmm. 
make sure the Vikings are there. Wait a minute. Am I talking to you protectively? What it calls? Warden? Well? Did you do? I have swords I around found my wrists. The, I found the shrine, and I... I don't know. It I feel, took my offering. I feel so strong. Maybe that's the reason why the Vikings gifted to the survivors of the pit? Not that so bad after all. But they're still bad human beings. Yeah, I mean they have blood on their docks. But now, can say I need to ask you something. Yeah. Do you truly desire to go home and turn yourself in for whatever you did? I mean, in the dungeon, I will be spinning. Three years. All right. Actually, I must say that is very honorable of you to accept your crime. Thirty years. Thirty years. What did you do? Uh, okay, I'll tell well, you. Well, I stole I an guess. ancient artifact. An ancient artifact. Yes. An artifact which was so ancient you need to suffer for 30 years? Well... Stealing part. Yes. Ah. And the rules okay. have changed. Change it to 30. Well, if that's what you want to do, I'm not going to stop you. In the meantime, since I've deserted my order, I'll see if the rumors are true. You know, you don't seem that bad of a guy. I try not to be, especially ever since I left the order. That was very heroic. Well, they completely disregarded the code we live by and attacked the samurai on a day that we were strictly prohibited from doing. They took advantage of the samurai's traditions and they used it as a means to attack and kill. I couldn't stand for that. Well, while you're living out your years in prison, I'm going to go try and find the resistance. Ever since the order showed up, we had to deal with a resistance that was effectively trying to sabotage everything we did, and they were actually fighting against us. They were relatively formidable, but not that strong. But now that I think order. about it, it's a force that I think would be worth joining. Especially considering the order is probably out for blood, mine specifically. Yours too, come to think of it. You were the only one who survived our onslaught. We'll be looking for you. And they'll probably find your hometown, too. Oh. Well, that means... I have to go. Wait. Huh? Before we go... Well... Before you go, anyway... I never asked for your name. Kenshi. Kenshi. It has a very samurai name. Alright. Well, thank you for saving me, Kenshi. I couldn't have gotten out of the pit if it wasn't for your help. And I wish you luck on, well, uh, saving your village. Sure.
Warden! What? I got a vision telling me I have to go with you. Or else. What? I'm gonna lose everything. Even I will die. I think we need to be. Uh, a team. Kenshi? You had a vision just now, too? Yes. It's like I can tell the. I don't know future. what these artifacts did or what's happening or anything, but we seem to be connected in some kind of way. Very well, if you want to come with me to join the resistance, I'll be happy to have you along. Albeit, at the very least, to protect me from danger. And at the most, as brothers in arms, I guess. But. Are you sure you'd be willing to trust a knight? I mean... <clears throat> I mean... I did leave the order. Fair enough. Very well. Then let's see to getting a ship. Or a boat. Yeah, I think this one would do. Yeah, I, I think it probably would. <laughs> 